I'm gonna show you how I made my own tool for cleaning intake ports. There's a lot of carbon and oil buildup on these uh, intake ports. This is N57 3 liter diesel engine on the BMW. This is what I came up with. Uh, just got a strong piece of metal that I had lying around in the garage and got a washer, welded the washer and then I just ground the washer uh, to profile just to fit the ports as best as I can. So now I have an oval section and a more flat section to kind of drag and pull and remove the, the debris. So we're gonna attempt now to do a rough clean. Uh, we're gonna close the cylinders. Make sure obviously your valves are closed. Uh, if you're not sure about this, just do a bit of research. Certain, uh, certain cylinders will have the valves open and the, val the valve closed so if you don't have a crank tool just go and purchase the correct crank tool for your crank uh, pulley um, I'm gonna put a picture in the video I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the tool that I'm gonna be using to in order to turn a crankshaft so I can close and open uh, certain cylinders that I'm working on and as I mentioned this is gonna be a gross clean that's not bad for just one gentle pull. I wanted to give you an idea if you're cleaning intake ports this is a great great way to clean your uh, ports and your valves without causing any damage so this is a nice cheap and easy quick way to do the job so what I've done is I've bunched up um, a few cable ties together I'm gonna cut this off here I'm gonna fit it on my drill and I mean you can do it manually if you don't have a drill you can just literally shove them in put some chemical petrol brake cleaner make sure obviously the valves are closed shove that in just agitate the ports as best as you can you can reach the valves further down in spin this on the low speed first then speed up and hopefully this will do the job so let's uh, check it out Next stage, spray some more chemical inside. This is brick cleaner, as I mentioned, I'm using. I'm gonna fill up the port. I hope you can see this because it's so dark inside, but this is basically just a quick attempt with a bit of brake cleaner, obviously I scraped out the bulk with the tool that I made and this is what we achieved after about 20 seconds with the cable ties and brake cleaner so we're gonna repeat the process and uh, see what happens So this is what I've done, I've put two O-rings in order to better seal it. So I'm gonna hook up my vacuum and we're gonna start blasting. <laughs> 